Puerto Rico is famous for having some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Millions of people visit the island every year to enjoy the blue waters and diverse landscapes. But those beaches and the communities near the coastline are in danger of being enveloped by the ocean as a long trending pattern of sea levels rising, exacerbated by Hurricane Maria in 2017, have caused widespread erosion along the Puerto Rican coastline. But a small startup company in Puerto Rico called Terra Firma, founded by island native Alejandro Mieses, has created software that aggregates satellite imagery and creates user-friendly models forecasting, with down-to-the-meter precision, environmental risks like erosion, landslides, flooding, and much more. This is how Terra Firma is leveraging their data to help Puerto Ricans take the right steps to preserving their beautiful island. I'm Alejandro Mieses. I'm the CEO of Terra Firma. So Terra Firma is a software company. We essentially forecast environmental risks, including uh, erosion, landslides, flooding, uh, wind-related risks, and solar exposure for anywhere in Puerto Rico, soon to be anywhere in, the, in Florida and Texas and the Gulf Coast, to essentially mitigate environmental damage that includes hurricane damage, that includes periodic erosion of coastal areas, as well as marine-related risks. The Puerto Rican coastline has been receding for decades due to rising sea levels. But when Hurricane Maria ravaged the island in 2017, the flooding exploited many infrastructural vulnerabilities in even some of the most populated areas of San Juan, the capital. Mieses saw the lack of erosion mitigation infrastructure in Puerto Rico as an opportunity to use his expertise in data science to help fortify the island that he loves. And in 2019, the Terra Firma software was born. So this is our user currently our user interface. Right now you can select any part of Puerto Rico. In the future it will, it will be any part of the U.S. And uh, comparatively apply different amounts of rainfall. You can actually see them happening throughout your terrain. You can as well com uh, compare them and combine them with different amounts of rainfall throughout history since 1941. So you can make it rain as it rained in Hurricane Maria. You can combine that with the winds of any other hurricane in the past to understand how your terrain would behave under those conditions and which areas are most at risk. So the problem right now with environmental assessment is that data is scattered across multiple federal data sets. There's not a database that is meant to unify them. So Terra Firma's first mission is to actually unify that data in a way that is usable. So that's why we develop our algorithms to sort of forecast these environmental risks throughout anywhere in Puerto Rico, at a very granular level. We can do this for every meter of Puerto Rico, so every, every household, every entrance, every patio, every street. We know how water moves throughout all of Puerto Rico. Typically, these environmental assessments are done at a 30 meter resolution, which means that it is quite coarse. It is quite large. It doesn't get to the scale of the person, to the scale of the household. So if you're doing it at a meter, you understand the pain points of single person, of a single household. The second part is that we do it through time. We're able to predict this from the present moment. We're able to understand what has happened in the past and project it to the future up to 30 years. Uh, and in that sense, you're able to see these things throughout uh, different scenarios, how it, they will uh, evolve through time. So one of the reasons it is groundbreaking is because it allows technology that is usually reserved for very high level expert personnel, technicians, scientists, conservationists. It, it puts that in the hands of the private sector, of communities, of NGOs. So it gives that power to manage their lands to people who don't necessarily have that exp expertise. So it brings all of that technical side in a way that is accessible. And being able to understand how water moves throughout land in geological time is very important because water flow is what causes erosion. And as the climate changes, water moves differently throughout the island. So having a centralized and user-friendly data set that can track the way water is moving and predict how different erosion mitigation strategies might affect water flow in the event of something like a storm surge is crucial for efficient city planning. So we're currently in Ocean Park. 
uh, you can see the erosion on the beach behind me since Hurricane Maria and that will continue to happen throughout the future. The good thing about Terra Firma software is that it allows you to measure and calibrate different options for mitigation, whether it's the sand dunes that you can see behind me or the coral, um, the coral infrastructure we're going to be installing alongside Blue Tide. Blue Tide is a Puerto Rican NGO focused on oceanic scientific investigation and research, as well as promoting and preserving the blue economy of Puerto Rico. After Hurricane Maria destroyed many of the coral reefs that act as a natural barrier protecting the coastline from erosion and flooding, Blue Tide contracted Terra Firma to design 3D printed tiles to be installed and serve as an erosion mitigation strategy to fight future storm surges and protect the coast. After Hurricane Maria, a lot of the marine ecosystems, including coral reefs throughout Puerto Rico, were very much damaged. We've partnered with Blue Tide to create artificial coral reefs, which we can grow partly in laboratories inland and we can transplant them to the seabed. Coral reefs have a variety of environmental benefits as well as social benefits. That includes replenishing our beaches uh, as erosion uh, takes takes away that volume of sand throughout time. So coral reefs are the ones who re-establish that volume of sand. It as well uh, supports the marine economy, that includes fishing villages, that includes uh, seafood restaurants, anything derived in Puerto Rico from the marine economy is very much sustained on coral reefs. Coral reefs are as well, uh, have the environmental benefit of functioning as marine barriers for storm surges. Terra Firma is not only a software company, we're a team of architects and designers. The way we designed this tile was for a variety of purposes. It can form a mass, sort of if we need 30,000 units, that functions as a barrier to marine currents and has to hold up. As well, as it has every single plug allows for sunlight to pass through to receive an equitable amount of sunlight. The geometry it has is meant to deviate marine currents as much as possible. They are clay tiles meant to not be an, uh, made of a material that is environmentally detrimental. It is a material that is very much present on the seabed anyways, anywhere in the world. So through 10 years, what, is remain, what remains is actually the coral that grew through this form, but not the material, not the clay material in itself. The way Terra Firma brings hope to a hurricane-prone Puerto Rico is offering the insights to be better prepared for the future incoming ones, to understand who is at risk, what part of our critical natural infrastructure and gray infrastructure is at risk, uh, and to be able to better protect it. Puerto Rico is still struggling to recover from heavy infrastructural damages from Maria, but with the help and perseverance of local startups like Terra Firma, Puerto Ricans are taking steps to build a stronger and brighter future for their homeland.